Welcome to Mandy Loves Japan. Today I just want to give you a little bit of background about me and how I came to love Japan so much. So for starters, I first remember loving Japan when I was about 10 years of age. We had some Japanese students come to the school and they taught us a lot about Japanese culture. Uh, they played some games with us. They did some onogami. They basically just helped us to enjoy the idea of Japanese culture. I remember going home to my mom and telling her that one day I was going to go to Japan, study in Japan, and I was going to become a Japanese teacher. And I was going to tell the world how awesome Japan was. Now, I guess you can imagine how my mom would have responded to that to a 10 year old. Yeah, darling, that sounds really great. Study hard. As if I wanted to become an astronaut or something. But I was really determined. I was really, really focused. I studied Japanese every single year that I was at school. I learned as much as I could. I got really, really into Japanese culture. Anytime that there was an availability for us to host Japanese students in our home, I was right on it and I was begging my parents to have a Japanese person stay in our home. And I made so many friends that way and I learned so much about Japanese culture. When we were hosting these Japanese students, it was through a great organization called Australian Institute of International Understanding. AIIU is an amazing organization that facilitates school groups coming from Japan and meeting up with schools in Australia. They do the homestay with Australian families and that's how I started to really understand Japanese people one-on-one -on -one, rather than just about Japan. I remember when I was about 16, one of the AIIU personnel told me that there was an opportunity for me to apply for a scholarship to go to Japan and become an exchange student. I remember being so overwhelmed with excitement that I cried. My parents really backed me up on this opportunity. They helped me study. They provided any support that they could to help me with the application forms and took me to Brisbane a number of times for interviews. They assisted me in any way they could and I can't thank them enough because I was successful. I was able to go to Japan, I had a scholarship and I lived in a place called Fukushima City for one school year. This was probably one of the most amazing times of my life. Everything I knew about life was challenged. So much of the way Japan works is so different to Australia. And even though I'd studied Japanese for about six years, I still felt like as soon as I stepped off that plane, I knew nothing. It was this amazing, steep, scary, crazy learning curve. And I highly recommend if you are interested in the idea of being an exchange student, just jump in, do it. It will challenge you in ways that you cannot imagine and it will just change your world. It will change the way you view yourself, your family, your customs. It will challenge the way that you view life. I can't recommend it enough. I loved being a student in Japan. I was lucky enough in my school in Japan to have a, an Australian friend. She was also an exchange student. It was so great to have one other person with me that was experiencing things in the same way that I was. When I started dreaming in Japanese, that was an awesome milestone for me because it meant that that, that language was finally in there, in my brain, and I didn't actually have to think about how to translate stuff. It was just happening naturally, and that was an amazing feeling. During my year over in Japan, I learned a lot of things the hard way but honestly I think that some of those things they're the memories that I treasure there's a lot to be said for just jumping in and doing something that's brave and scary and crazy because you learn so much about your own strength when I came back to Australia I was really surprised because I experienced culture shock I guess you call it reverse culture shock. When I got back into Australia, landed in Brisbane, there was so much space. I'd just come from snowy Japan and it was in the middle of a heat wave. The grass was dry and the trees were scarce and there's so much open space. I remember being really overwhelmed by how big Australia was. That was a really weird 
feeling. Also, it was really, really hard to sort of get back into Australian lifestyle. I remember a number of times my parents stopping me mid-sentence and saying, you've just slipped into Japanese and we don't know what you're saying. So of course I wanted to use my Japanese as much as I could and I didn't want to forget everything that I'd learned. So I started studying to be a teacher, intending to be a Japanese language major. I was successful in that and I've taught Japanese for a number of years. I really, really love the fact that I can share my love of Japan with my students. I really enjoy seeing those moments on their faces when they learn something new about Japan that really throws them or when they remember a word in another language and they think that's really cool or when they have like a tiny little private conversation with one of their friends in Japanese. You see that cheeky grin on their faces when they know something that other people don't. What I wanted to do was share it more broadly and I wanted to share my experiences, my love of Japanese and I wanted to share some of the intricacies of Japanese language that are really cool. So the purpose of this channel is just to help others enjoy some of the great stuff about Japan and Japanese language and culture and that hopefully you can experience some of that through my eyes. Of course, I lived in Tohoku region and Fukushima city. My heart is in the northern areas of Japan and especially Fukushima. So I'll be talking about Japan with a focus on Fukushima. So that's why I've started this channel and I hope that you're really going to enjoy coming along with me. When I go to Japan, I'm going to be sharing those moments with you as well. I hope that you can really enjoy some of my passion about Japan. Thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Also, you can tell me things that you'd like to see on my videos. I expect to see some comments down below and I'll see you next time. Janie!